The Compagnie des Chemins de Vert de l'Ouest (CF de l'Ouest), often referred to simply as l'Ouest or West, was an early French railway company. Topic: History. Topic: <laughs> Birth of the company. The Compagnie de l'Ouest was created in 1855 by the merger of various small railway companies active in the western outskirts of Paris, in Normandy and in Brittany. These were Paris à Saint-Germain Paris à Rouen Rouen au Havre Dieppe à Fécamp Paris à Con et à Cherbourg The Old West two lines from Paris to Versailles and paris Rennes. Topic: Paris à Saint-Germain. The West's oldest line, still open to this day, is the line from Paris to La Pecq, built by Emile Perrier's Compagnie du Chemin de Vert de Paris à Saint-Germain and inaugurated on the 24th of August 1837 by Marie Amélie, wife of King Louis Philippe. The line was 19 kilometers, 12 miles long, and the trip took 30 minutes. Initially greeted with fear and lack of interest, the railway was a success that paved the way for other new railways, for instance to Rouen. In 1847, the line to La Pecq was extended to Saint-Germain-en-Laye. The section between Saint-Germain-en-Laye and Nanterre, University is now part of the RER Line A. The section between paris saint lazare and Nanterre is part of the main lines to Rouen and Caen. The Old West While the line to Saint-Germain-en-Laye was being built, a line to Versailles, another popular Sunday destination, was projected. Two lines were built, one from Gare saint lazare to the terminus versailles rive droit the other from Gare Montparnasse du Maine to the terminus versailles rive gauche James Mayer de Rothschild in conjunction with the Schumer de Vert de Versailles Rive Droit, created in 1837, were given the concession to operate the lines. The line to Versailles Rive Droit, opened on 4 August 1839 and still in use today as Transilian Line L, is 19 km 12 miles long, branching off the line to Saint-Germain at Asnières sur Seine. The line to Versailles Rive Gauche is also still in use today. The part between Montparnasse and Verofle is used by trains from Paris to Chartres and Brittany as well as Transilien Line N. The part between Verofle and Versailles is used by RERC local trains. <laughs> Paris or Rouen Two lines to Rouen in Normandy were projected, one passing through La Garenne Colombes and following the left Seine bank from Poissy, the other passing through Pontoise and following the high plateau on the right Seine bank. Due to the lack of confidence in the second project, the first one was granted and the concession given to Charles Lafitte and Edouard Blount. Construction began in 1841 under the orders of engineer Joseph Locke and with the help of British workers. Inauguration of the line was on 9 May 1843. It was an immediate success, so much so that issues with the Chemin de Vert de Saint-Germain with platform allocation at Gare saint lazare occurred. <laughs> <laughs> Expansion The imperial government imposed the construction of several lines, Argentin, Granville, Rennes, Brest, Rennes, Saint Malo, Rennes, Redon, Le Mans, Angers, Cirquini, Rouen, Lisieux, Honfleur, Mezidon Cannon, Le Mans. The government also imposed several secondary lines. The network was rapidly expanded, to better use the Rive Droit line, a 15 km 9 miles long branch was built from Saint-Cloud to Saint-Nom-la-Bretèche at the cost of the French state. 
The line was declared of public utility in 1880 and the Chumas de Verre de l'Ouest opened the line to La Tangle-Ville in 1884. Passenger services were extended to Saint Germain Grand Cancha in 1889. Services were then reported back to Saint Nom la Bretèche in 1894 when passenger services on the Chuma de Verre de Grand Cancha were stopped. A second line from Saint Lazare to Mance la Jolie was opened in 1892, following the right Seine bank. The new line started at Argentoy, and passed Conflans Saint Honorine, Triel, and Mulin. Because of the company's bad financial situation due to the region it served, agricultural for the most part, the law of 13 July 1908 saw the integration of the Company des Chumas de Verre de l'Ouest into the Chumas de Verre de l'Etat on 1 January 1909. Accidents On a Sunday in May 1842 one of the worst accidents in French railway history happened near Merdon, 164 victims, the 55 dead were burnt alive see Versailles train crash. After this incident the company no longer locked doors on passenger coaches. Montparnasse derailment. On the 22nd of October 1895, an express train originating from Granville traversed Montparnasse station, ploughed into the buffers, wrecked the station building's front wall, and dropped to the ground on the street below. The only fatality was the wife of a newspaper vendor, filling in for her husband, who had gone to get the evening newspapers, who was killed by falling masonry from the wall. In 1881 there were 2064 railway-related accidents, 185 derailings, 190 collisions, 692 accidents on the line. 512 passengers died in these accidents, one-tenth of those who died in accidents on stagecoaches. Lists of rail accidents <laughs> Paris stations. L'Ouest built several stations within Paris, the two main terminals saint Lazare and Montparnasse as well as pont Cardenet, at the beginning of the line to Autoy. In 1851 the West's Paris terminus, the Gare saint Lazare, was enlarged to comprise six groups for each main destination served, Group 1 and 2, Versailles Group 3, Autoy Group 4, Argentoy Group 5, saint germain en Lay Group 6, Rouen, Le Havre and Dieppe the line to Con served by this group was not opened until 1855. <laughs> La Ligne d'Autoy <laughs> Line openings Topic Architecture Topic A sense of identity As with many other railway companies, the West adopted its own architectural style. Stations in large cities such as Le Havre, Lisieux, Deauville, and Paris are unique. More modest halts were graced with type building, which are called type west. The best preserved examples can be found in dives sur mer and Holgate. According to the size of the town or village close to the proposed site for the station, a station of a certain size was built. There are three generic types of station buildings: the BV3, BV5, and BV7. BV stands for Batiment Voyager station building and the number, the number of doors accessible. The larger the town, the larger the station building. As well as stations, infrastructure was also in mind when saving money so the West created a level crossing guard house template see below. <laughs> Station photos Topic Locomotives Topic Heilman Locomotives 
In 1893, Jean-Jacques Heilmann built a steam electric locomotive of Doudou wheel arrangement, which was trialed on the CF de l'Ouest. Named La Fusée Electric English, the electric rocket, it was successful enough that two larger locomotives were constructed in 1897. These were numbered 8001 and 8002. Although considered successful, the design was not proceeded with and all three locomotives were dismantled. <laughs> 